let me turn this off. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Massachusetts Central Radio Show. I'm, a, I'm your humble host here from for uh, day two, or actually 270, I think it's 273. Yeah, it's 273, folks, for um, here on a Friday night, 274, well, actually, it's Yeah, it's 270, is it 274? No, two, yeah, it's 273. Um, I think we're still going to hit, uh, we're still going to hit 280 plus episodes of this. I just skipped one on yesterday and I didn't release a Pokemon episode because I didn't want to. I'm going to release one on the 20, uh, 23rd though. I'll release one on the 23rd, and then I'm going to release one probably before the 24th, 31st. So, um, hello everybody, and welcome back to another one of these. We're going to hit, as I said, we're going to hit 280 episodes. So, uh, if I record one today, this will be 273. Tomorrow will be 274. 275 will be Saturday. I mean, will be Sunday. Uh, and it's Monday with 276. Uh, 277 will be Wednesday, and 278 will be Christmas, and then 279 will be the day after Christmas, and then 280 will be Sunday, 281 will be Monday. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have like 283, 284. Playing some Pokemon right now. So, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, enjoying your being of your weekend. I, I know I am, but so yeah, um, trying to catch a rapid dash if I can try to do that. Um, because I need a I need a fire type for my team. Two eighteen, so um, Scratch that, I can't get one here. So I'm going to try to see where I can find a ponytail. Ponytail. Without killing it, without killing it, pretty much. Um, so, so yeah, so yeah, guys, I'm just going to do this, but I'm going to fly somewhere. All right, so I'm going to um, map. There's two fourteen. Oh, I'm going to go to Veilstone and go. No, wait a second. That's Galactic. Get him with the Gyarados. I should have a Gyarados, actually. You guys... I should have a Gyarados right there. So, 
Yeah, I have a Gyarados in this game. I'm not gonna unlock gameplay. I'm not gonna do gameplay on um So yeah, I'm catching one of these. So yeah, I'm catching a Ponyta because I need something fire type and I want a high enough level. Oh, Kadabra. I have a lot of Kadabra. I already have one. Buy them at twenty one, like twenty percent. It's going to be ridiculously. Please be a ponyta. Cricketune. This is my, my 90th Cricketune I've seen in my game. Cricketunes are annoying. You can find them everywhere. Please be a pony, huh? Yes! You're gonna be like level 21, but I don't care. Wish I had a dust ball. No, wait a second, I have great balls. Who cares? I have, three, I have to play three great balls. Get in the, get in the great ball. Get in the great ball. Get in the great ball. Yes. She doesn't, um, she hates food. She, her paws, she hates to walk on them, she likes 
She's gonna be like uh, Cornelius. Sorry, I had to hear that because I'm I got invaded upon. Um, so yeah, I caught the ponytail. So I'm going to talk to you guys about um, what my plans are for. Uh, so work was good today. Actually, we I did sales floor majority of the day. Uh, I had to switch over to produce because um, my buddy over there, Arlie, actually. Well, my very good teammate, Arlie, not the supervisor who who was took a vacation again for like the 90th time this year. So so uh, this is actually working right, right into my plans of doing everything and being Mr. Fix-It. So, um, so I'm actually doing what I actually used to do in my Target in my school years when I used to do social work and stuff like that in school. So um, the reason why uh, you guys are probably wondering, you never told us about that. It's because I actually didn't want to talk about that because uh, that was more, uh, I want to talk about that because I didn't want any of the agencies I worked for to to, um, to do it. I mean, I actually did help people while I was in school. Um, it was just more, I wanted to keep that private. So I did actually work with people. Uh, so helping out with my friends wasn't a fluke while I was doing that. So, um, so that wasn't completely a fluke. Uh, I actually learned quite a bit. So, Fixing everybody's problems, whether it be retail or be uh, or just putting out a simple flame like that. Um, I was always doing, let me shut this off so you guys can, can at least hear me. Um, so yeah, so it's going according to plan. And this is the way how I planned it from the very beginning. You guys are probably wondering, hmm, yeah, you probably didn't. I actually did. I wanted to do this in stages. I kind of just had to feel things out a little bit of where I was working. So, and I do that with every job I do because I want to know what the ins and outs and I want to know how management works, where I can exploit things and where I can um, take advantage of certain weaknesses. As you guys know me, I like to do that. Uh, so I found out that our team uh, had a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a rotational issue. We have problems keeping people. So this is gonna come in handy for more money um, later on and also more responsibility. And that's the great thing is I kind of wanted to get back to this, kind of wanted to get back to this because this is what I liked back in my earlier target years and also when I was doing social work and counseling in school. Uh, Cause I actually did some of my work on on the um 
actually on the campus, actually, I was actually able to do some stuff on campus. Um, in my, uh, my later years, when then I graduated, I would have been able to continue that, but of course the hernia and all this other crap, and then I had to, then I burnt out. Uh, so you guys are wondering why I made a lot of money and was able to live a little during the target years. That's the reason why. Um, so, uh, and it's actually amazing in when I, I had probably, when I finished my bachelor's in 16, I probably had next to nothing in the bank. So, uh, I was, I was worth probably in the four digits. Now I'm, now I'm a little bit higher. So, um, than that, I think when I left Target, uh, it's funny, in the three years I worked at Target, um, a lot of that either went to my bank account, Uber bills, or, um, or just, I just generally didn't, I think what happened was I spent a little bit more money, and I was only making maybe five, six hundred dollars a paycheck, uh, and then a little later on, uh, I was, I was, uh, getting up there in, I was getting up there in pay and stuff like that, but it's because I'm earning more and I'm spending less, uh, over time, like I'm, and I'm using, like, I'm not using physical money. I'm using gift cards mostly so I can, that people, that's how I've been able to purchase a lot of my stuff. Like, I think, like, I, I think I have, I think in the last year or so, I purchased maybe over a thousand dollars worth of, I think in the last, yeah, over the last three, four years, I've, I've, uh, and I paid probably maybe four or five thousand dollars worth of stuff. And I think most of that's been through gift cards and um, miscellaneous things. But, um, you know, gift cards people have given me over the years. And um, have given me over the years. So I've been able to uh, spend less. So, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things. And I hopefully aim to make more as I go and um, I've definitely put a lot more in the bank than, than I've earned. I'm only taking, uh, plus plus, I, plus the reason is because I have a little bit more spending money too. So I've been not putting as much in the, I've probably taken out uh, and I've managed to not spend it all. I've always been, I've always kept like five, six, seven hundred bucks out of the bag so I can, you know, have emergency money. So it's not like the bank has everything. And um, I think as of now, uh, I think as of now, with all the money I made, I think my, yeah, I'm, I'm almost higher end of the, higher end five digits now because um because my checking account and I have a CD in a checking account so um so I'm able to so I think uh I think I have uh yeah I, I, I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm worth. It's so uh, it's a lot more money than than I had this time last year. Like I've grown, like I've grown almost, um, I think I forget how much I've grown in the last year, but I think I've grown like, um, in this new job that I've gotten, I think I've got, I think I've made, um, I made, I think I made, I think in this job in total, I think over the last 18 months, I think I made over 50 grand. I think I made, I think I made close to 50 grand. So, um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm proud of that. 
I'm very proud of that. Um, and it's going to keep growing uh, as the years as the years go on because I'm not paying any big expenses right now. I'm not buying cell phones. I'm, I'm leasing mine. So, um, so I'm just saving my money so I can have enough to live on when I go elsewhere. So, sorry you had to hear the conversation between, um, I guess my, I, I guess my, um, my brother's girlfriend, my brother's girlfriend, Caitlin, my brother's, they've been dating for, uh, I think it's like two, two, three years now. Uh, and, uh, she's got a new dog, uh, that's coming back home with them on a plane and, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, um, yeah, it's good. Yeah. They're coming back home, uh, on a plane and, um, and stuff like that. So, well, I think, well, I think they're in a layover in Chicago or something something like that and they're coming so uh they had to get the dog all the way in south dakota because that's where they adopted and she didn't take, think it would take this long so that's the reason why part of the conversation you heard was me doing catching pony tot and then um them talking about the dog you can hear them in the background pretty much uh i don't want to say anything you know just want to keep my vlogs real i want you to show you the ambiance so my brother doesn't know it. He's 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 in the vlog. Um, plus she's in the vlog, so I'll have to. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting. So I just wanted to show you what my life is like. So my brother's home for uh, for another. Um, my brother's home for another. My brother's home for another, uh, see, it's the 17th, um, tomorrow's the 18th, yeah, so my brother's home, um, till, like, the 31st or the 1st or the 2nd, I can't remember, can't remember which, but he's, he's only here for another, um, 13 days, so he's here for another two weeks almost, and he's gonna go back, actually, 31st. Yeah, so he's heading back on the first of the second, and then he's, so he's, yeah, so he's going to be here for about 15, 14, uh, 15 days or something like that, yeah, so he's going to be here from, yeah, so 15, 31st, yeah, so he's going to be here for like 20, for like 14 days, so he's going to be here for like two weeks, two weeks now, uh, he's, he's going to be here, he's been here a total of, he's been here since Sunday, so, Technically, he's going to be here for about 21 days, and then he's going to split. Um, yeah, actually, first or the second, I think he's, yeah, 60 days. So, yeah, so he's going to be here about two weeks. Um, so, yeah, sorry. I had to stretch this a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I, so, yeah, so work's going good. Um, work's going good. Everything's going to my ideal not too many people really know what i'm capable of because as i said i'm into my i'm into my school and my social work years and college counseling years so um they so they, they're not going to really know what to expect but but it's usual but these were my best years so um this year so it's been really really good um so yeah um i'm gonna do this one to do i'm gonna review it and i'm gonna upload it soon so i can have it up so this is 273 hello everybody oh yes by the way i want to say just a quick prayer my grandfather's in the hospital with covid right now so hopefully he makes a speedy recovery we're not going to be able to have uh he just went in um I think it was Wednesday, so I'm gonna say the 15th or the 16th. So uh, he has to be quarantined for a total of 14 days. Um, so he's uh, so he's gonna be quarantined till the 29th. It's gonna suck. 
so he's not going to, so we're not going to do Christmas Eve this year. So um, we're just going to have our own little extravaganza here and do some stuff. Uh, but I wish him a, but I'd rather him recover rather than us say, oh, hey, we have Christmas Eve. And, you know, we want to make sure he's okay and he's, re I, I hope he has, uh, I hope he recovers properly and he does, takes the right steps not to get sick again so um he's i'm hoping i'm i'm praying every fiber of my body is praying he pulls through and he does well so um if i rather see him be healthy again rather than rush you know, we rather rather than rush him to do christmas eve because he's never he's only missed christmas eve twice so this, this is his third year he, we're so it's this third year we uh actually we've only missed it twice so this is the second time we missed it so um we missed it is this the second uh, actually yeah so this is the well we, well we did miss it one time but we made it up later in the spring so um so yeah um tradition uh so yeah, it's a tradition we've had for years, but we kind of had to duck it. Well, actually, nah, yeah. So this is the third time because we got sick back in the late 2000s. Because um, we did have to miss it one year uh, back in 2015 to 2016 because he had a surgery. So we've we've had quite a bit happen. So this is his third time missing it. So, and uh, we're going to hopefully uh, make it up next year so. Make it up and have it next year, so because we've, because I want to see him good and all good as new, and hopefully he does well because he's had a rough the last couple of months, so especially with COVID around. So, all right, guys, peace, and I'll see you guys in two seventy four tomorrow. So, peace. <laughs>